food. Whether you're in the kitchen making it or outside the kitchen buying it, it's the fuel that keeps your body going. And what kind of fuel you put into your body determines how it's going to look and function. And you want it to function good, right? So today we're gonna to be going over some of the do's and do nots of how to be a food knowledge dude. Come join us now for a look at dieting with buff dudes from a long time ago. With only survival contained within these prehistoric buff dude brains, food was whatever you could find. And without a guide to follow, risks were to be taken when trying new mysterious rub. <laughs> Caution when eating, both then and now, is clearly advised. Dieting do. Discover the magic of the kitchen. It's never too early or too late to learn how to cook. If cooking scares you, start simple. Grab a slow cooker or a grill and make simple recipes using just a handful of ingredients. Get to know food, spices, and what combinations you'll enjoy. You'll start as a cooking student and, over time, become a cooking master. Or maybe you'll never graduate beyond microwaving popcorn. Regardless, you're in there and you're doing it yourself. Dieting do not. Being convinced that one size fits all. What might work perfect for a friend might prove to be the opposite for you. Either that be for health reasons, or scheduling, or just personal taste preferences. So get out there, experiment, have fun, but you might want to watch those mushrooms. Our next dieting do is brought to you by Magic Spoon, and it is finding new alternatives to old favorites. So you've got that one sugar-filled, overly processed cereal with a laundry list of ingredients that you just can't seem to let go of. It's your favorite. But thankfully, you don't have to throw it out and abandon your taste buds. You only have to throw it out and give them something better. Enter Magic Spoon. It's low carb, it's high protein, it's zero sugar. You can eat an entire box guilt-free. And it's a healthy cereal that actually tastes great, not like cardboard. And by clicking our link below and using code BUFFDUDES, you'll get free shipping on the four-pack variety box. My personal favorite flavor is Frosted. It takes me back to my childhood of being a baby buff dude. When Saturday mornings, I'd grab a warm blanket, watch my favorite cartoon show, and grab a bowl of pure goodness. Magic Spoon, it's buff-tastic. Dieting do not. Thinking that being on a diet restricts you to only one type of boring food. Take boneless, skinless chicken breasts, for instance. You've had it hundreds of times and you are sick of it, but add a little spice, some condiments, cook it a little different way, and all of a sudden, boom, that food tastes amazing. Just remember this, healthy food is only as boring as the person who makes it. So, don't be a boring dude, be a buff dude. Make that food exciting. You wanna know my diet advice? Food is purely fuel, and that's it. It's not pleasurable to eat, and if it is, you're doing something wrong, adding spices and condiments, you're weak. All you have to do is boil some chicken. If you ain't gagging after every bite, you ain't doing it right. Fats, carbs, nah, none of that. Only protein, that's what keeps you lean. Disgust, suffering, discomfort. That's the spices I like to put on my food, and that's what makes me strong. Remember these three words. Boiled chicken. <laughs> to eat is a necessity, but to eat intelligently is an art. Dieting do. Follow the 10 count rule. Now, if there's more ingredients on the box and the fingers on your hand, then you might want to take a closer look at what those ingredients are. After all, this is your body and you want to at least have a vague idea of what you're putting in it. Dieting do not. Overcomplicating things. I had a whole bunch of long-winded bullshit I was going to say in this segment, but I had to remind myself to keep it simple. There's an old expression that says the road less traveled leads to success, but sometimes it's easier to just jump on the freeway and go from point A to point B. 
keep it simple and you'll get there faster than that guy taking that long, less traveled road. He's lost. You're not. This, this is how it works. This is what I call it's a 60 minute diet. My diet, I made it up, I devised it. It works perfectly. As you can see from my body, my perfect specimen body, the diet is excellent. This is how it works. Every hour, every 60 minutes on the dot, you eat 24 hours a day, every day. I've been doing it my entire life. Now listen, when I say every hour, that means at midnight, at one o'clock, at two o'clock, the alarm goes off, you get up, you eat. Okay, don't forget to get yourself a good, reliable clock. This is my grandpa's. He lived a long, healthy life of 29 years. I, I got a ways to go, because I'm only 22. <laughs> Don't dig your grave with a knife and fork. Dieting do, be willing to adapt. Nutrition has advanced quite a bit in the last decade, and although some advice stays the same, like keep your sugar intake low, your greens high, and moderate how much processed foods you have, other advice is pretty out of date. Like just because it says fat free, it means it's healthy for you or eating a meal every 60 seconds will increase your metabolism by a thousand percent. So no, just because the old bodybuilder dude at the gym tells you you should eat a meal every 60 seconds doesn't mean it's true. Dieting do not, the quick fix. So let's say you're at a point in your life where you wanna lose some weight. Well, chances are it took a while to put that weight on. So you need to be realistic and know it's gonna take a while to get it off. And the sad thing is there's a lot of people promising a quick fix, which just isn't possible. It's gonna take patience, it's gonna take persistence. So if anyone promises you that seven day quick fix. I don't believe in dieting. I believe in Mother Earth. She provides everything that I need for my nutrition. I take her seeds and I plant them and I water them and I nurture them. They become my children. They grow strong and plump. And when it's time, I eat them. Hello, how are you? You're getting so big. Good. <laughs> Mother Earth provides for me. She gives me food. I take that food in. I digest that food. I take all of that nutrition. And in turn, I give back to Mother Earth by shitting in my garden. It's fertilizing. I have a confession to make. My husband is very jealous of my relationship with Mother Earth. She provides. The best diet is the one that you don't even know you were on. Dieting do. Realistic expectations. Sometimes it's unrealistic to have homegrown, 100% organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, free-range, cage-free, all-natural, ethical foods at the ready every single meal. For instance, let's say you're at grandma's and she's made her favorite food. And it's not exactly the healthiest, but you eat it anyways. Should you beat yourself up over it? No, because you can veer off course a little bit every once in a while as long as you stay consistent in the long run. That's the important part. None of us are robots, so you don't have to expect yourself to act like one. Dieting do not. Paralysis by analysis. Now more than ever, there's an amazing amount of information at your fingertips. And knowledge is a good thing, whether that be learning about a new food, a new recipe to cook, but at the same time, you don't want to fall into the trap of excessively researching every single little nutritional article out there. You'll most likely find yourself sad, depressed, confused, and not really sure what's up or down. So just make sure to keep it in moderation. When it comes to diet, it's really all about research. And I myself consider myself one of the most well-informed citizens of the internet. In fact, I'm subscribed to up to 3,500 hashtags on social media. Every 30 seconds, I get a new alert on my phone, which informs me of the new and latest diet research. If you'll excuse me. I, in the conversation we've just been having, I've already missed 15 new articles. Oh my God, that's amazing. I find myself switching from vegetarian to vegan to carnivore up to 16 times a day, based upon my local findings, of course, and a lot of people use independent research, and I do too, but I'm more of a local underground guy. In fact, if a researcher has more than 10 followers, I usually unsubscribe because I consider them a bit of a sellout. I'm trying a new diet at the moment, and it's called the Other Orifice Diet. It absorbs things better. It also hurts like crazy. Your diet is a bank account. 
Good food choices are good investments. Dieting do, there is no secret. There's no secret pill, there's no secret superfood, there's no website that sells the secret for 1995. All it comes down to is hard work and consistency. There you go, the secret's out. Now pay me my 1995. Dieting do not, the fad diet. You may have heard of the latest greatest thing. Maybe it's the cookie diet. Maybe it's the grapefruit diet. Maybe it's to harness the power of the sun for photosynthesis as a means to generating energy diet. Well, I've got a new one for you. It's called the horseshit diet. And I categorized them all in that category. Before you jump on the latest greatest thing, take a little while to research it and see if it's gonna benefit you. And more importantly, see if it even works. I just really don't get why it is so difficult for some people to diet because when it really comes down to it, all you need is my specially formulated green tea powder. It comes in an all natural 100% cotton candy flavor and it is like the tastiest thing I have ever had. And because it tastes so good, you know it's gonna be really healthy. By how many followers I have on Instagram, you can like totally trust me. From time to time, it actually gives me some really bad shits, but I think that's just all part of the detox process with it. You don't need a silver fork to eat good food. Dieting do, baby steps. Start with the very basics and build from there. Let's say you wanted to play guitar and you picked it up and tried to play a blistering solo on your first run through. Or maybe you wanted to learn a new language and you expected to learn the ins and outs overnight. Well, it simply wouldn't be possible and you'd probably give up due to frustration. Well, the same thing goes with nutrition. Start with the basics, single ingredient food, getting to know how many calories they contain. You're just gonna do it one step at a time, and before you know it, those little baby steps are gonna add up, you're gonna look behind yourself, and you're gonna have traveled a long road and learned a lot in the process, so baby steps. Dieting do not, the yo-yo effect. You find yourself wanting to lose some weight, so you go on a very restrictive diet, trying to lose as much weight as possible in the shortest amount of time, but unfortunately, that's not very sustainable. So once you get off that diet, you end up binging because you miss all those foods that you couldn't have on the restrictive diet. But then you gain your weight back. So then you wanna go back on a diet. So you keep going back and forth and yo-yoing from gaining weight to losing weight and you're never that sustainable. So one thing you wanna do is pick a diet that you can stay on instead of thinking of as a short-term diet, you want it as a long-term diet or the way we like to call it, a lifestyle. So you eat that way for the rest of your life, you feel good, you look good, and you're never gonna yo-yo. I tried so many different diets and none of them work. I followed one for a whole week and there was no results. So I thought maybe I'll just do whatever my favorite YouTuber tells me to. She's so pretty and she has so many followers, so she must be right, right? She said I have to try this all natural cotton candy drink. Once I tried it and I broke out with hives, but I DM'd her and she said it's completely normal, it's just my body detoxing. She's so smart. She just posted a new update. Apples make your butt small. <laughs> Exercising should be about rewarding the body with strength, not about punishing your body for what you've eaten. There you go, some of our biggest diet dudes and dude nots. Now, this isn't the end all be all list, but it's definitely a giant baby step in the right direction. But it's missing one big chapter, and that's the one that will be written by you, based upon your personal eating needs and preferences. So get out there and start eating. Unless, of course, you're already full, but once you're hungry again, you know what to do. Stay buff. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and a final huge thanks to Magic Spoon for making this possible. They've got amazing cereals that are low carb, high protein, and zero sugar. Healthy food that tastes amazing, and by clicking our link below and using code BUFFDUDES, you'll get free shipping on the four pack variety box. Just tell them that the Buff Dudes sent you, and try not to eat it all in one sitting. But you know what, we won't judge you if you do. We've done it ourselves. It's fantastic.